Hello everyone! Today we are inside of Unreal Engine and I am playing with the metahuman characters. And uh, one thing that uh, metahuman doesn't do is it doesn't give you a character class NPC metahuman that you can roam that can roam around it doesn't give you all of that inside of its blueprint it um basically gives you an actor blueprint which turns your metahuman into an actor you can use in a sequence or in the game as a stationary actor um but what i'm gonna do in this video today is i'm gonna show you how to turn that metahuman blueprint that they give you into a character it's super simple and then from a character you get a uh, character movement and everything like that so if we jump into the blueprint i have a, a blueprint that i duplicated and i just put mpc at the end and so I have this monk character here, and I want him to be able to roam around inside of the game. And he's a metahuman character. And, of course, it, the metahuman separated into the head versus the body uh, kind of thing. And um, if you look inside this blueprint, there's no character movement. There's no capsule that the character rides in that can move around in the scene. So we just need to change the class of this blueprint. So if we go up into class settings, we see the parent class is actor. We want to change this actor to character. Character class. Right there. And it'll take a second. And now we've loaded our character. And I, I, I kind of already did this before earlier. But when you do this, it won't uh, magically set your character in the capsule and everything. What you'll have to do is he'll be turned and rotated the wrong way. And um, he'll be sitting high above the capsule. But what, what you'll do is when... You know, now we have our character movement here. We'll just select the root bone here. And we'll go to like a side view, right view, and just move your character down so that their feet line up with the bottom of the capsule. So you just need to do that. Then you can go back out of perspective mode and then rotate him. So he faces the same direction as the arrow. Okay. So there we go. Now he's all set up. We can compile this. And there's one other setting. If we select body in here, um, you generally, what I generally have to do is disable post-processing blueprint. I usually check this and that makes it so my character is not distorted in this view. Don't ask me why. Other than that, I don't know why I have to do that. But here we have the blueprint for the body. We can add a blueprint. And of course, I've already I've made NPCs with these um, metahuman characters. So I have a blueprint that is all ret set and ready to go. So there he goes. There's a character in as an NPC that can now roam around in the scene. I'll s compile this again. Now there's much more that you have to do. You can't just do this and then drop them into the scene. They need code in the event graph or um, there are other ways to do NPCs um, that tell the character where to go and all that. And I can give you a peek at some of this this is um, a different version so this is all the code that kind of tells uh, the monk where to go when to go what to do when he gets there and then the construction script which constructs the avatar and its clothing and all that 
But that is a quick look on how to um, turn your metahuman character into an NPC. Uh, if you want more videos on how to move the characters around and all that stuff, I do have videos on my animals on how to do that. But I can show how to do that with a metahuman character. There are also um, a bunch of nuances and um, things about animating inside of Unreal Engine that I want to cover at some point. So, um, yeah, I'm back into making videos, hopefully. Have a good one, everyone.